outside him. Could be bad for the rest of the field as well. The number 10, Jesse Gordon out of Beaumont. Row number two on the inside, the number seven. That is Kevin Cox out of Foothill Ranch. With him in that row, the number 453, the point leader, Roger Story out of Arupa Valley. Row number three on the inside, it's the number six. That's Rob Malthopped out of Orange. With him in that row, the number 55, Brian Kedzor. And in the back row, looks like by himself, it is going to be Michael Shatley, who has already won the figure eight trailer main event tonight. Michael is out of Whittier. And Chris Kennett, who's listed on this race for us, is not on the racetrack. Normally about double the amount of figure eight cars than we have tonight. Batmobile on that inside line into the corner. And Earl Cox, a better drive around the outside, takes the lead. Story running in third, Kevin Cox fourth. This spot is Kedzor, then it's Malthop and Shatley. First and second pull away from the third place car Story with one lap down, 19 to go. And it's going to get interesting at the intersection early on. Kevin Cox now trying to get by Story. Remember, those are the two cars battling for the lead in the points. Shatley got off course. Malthop takes it back to the pit area. So Malthop going to finish last. Kedzor goes around. And gets it out of the way as the leader comes by. Kedzor goes a lap down. Close at the intersection. battle on the racetrack. That's actually the battle for the point lead as well. That's the 53 story. The point leader came in nine points ahead of the number seven Cox. They're fighting for third. And Earl Cox, the 27 car, has nearly a full straightaway lead over Jesse Gordon. Seven laps down. Earl almost up to lap traffic. And the first car he may lap, actually the 55 is a lap down. The next car he would lap would be his brother in the number seven, Kevin Cox. goes to the inside of his brother, sets his sights on third place story. Getting held up a little bit by the lap traffic, but Jesse Gordon not making a lot of headway. Halfway the next time by, there'll be 10 down, 10 to go. Earl all bottled up there now. And that lets Gordon creep in a little bit. Now Earl's got rare air in front of him. It'll be wide open. And Gordon will have to battle with the lap cars. Boy, Jesse Gordon really stuck with the lap cars. In fact, he gets hit by Cox. That has allowed Earl to open up over a half-track lead on the second-place Batmobile. The way it stands right now, Roger Story going to extend his point lead over Kevin Cox. But there's still seven laps remaining. That was close at the intersection by Earl. Earl. 
and something wrong with the front of the seven car. Oh, you can see that now. Tom Gillum just told me that. He's going to stay on the racetrack for points, but he's going to lose more ground to Roger Story. And he's not going to stay on the racetrack for points. Track lead for the 27 over the 10. Four laps left. Two laps to go this time by for Earl Cox. Kedzar, he remains on the racetrack. He'll firm up his grasp on third in the point standings. As Shatley was fourth, and Shatley dropped out of this one early. The last lap flag, one to go for the legend Earl Cox. One more trip through the in intersection for the leader. Trying to lap the third place car. Checker flag gonna come down. He laps the third place car. No, he doesn't. The victory goes to the 27 Earl Cox. Second spot to Batmobile, Jesse Gordon. Third, the point leader, Story. And getting credit for fourth will be the 55 of Brian Kedzor. 609.22, the time on the figure eight main event. car talk to our Tom Gillum getting all unbuckled down there he's he really has to get pretty fight before he gets out of the car <laughs> there he comes mr. Cox this is getting to be a regular Job, kind of, really kind of a regular thing. Yeah, uh, I don't know how it's going to be, though. All you troopers are still here watching us race. I want you guys uh, a handshake for yourself coming out and watching us. I appreciate you coming out. I don't care what he says. But uh, I, uh, I hope you guys go online and help Don out with Paris Auto Speedway, because I sure am. Um, if, we, if we lose this place, we have nowhere to go. So if you guys can help out, I'd appreciate it. I'm sure Don Wood and Don staff. I thank you guys for coming out. Thank you, Mr. Cox. Put on a good show for everybody. Thank you, sir. I know we didn't have that very, uh, very many cars tonight. It's just because the heat and, you know, and the holiday coming up. Yeah. But uh, if, I'm, uh, if I'm not out of the country, I'll be here. Excellent, man. Have some pictures taken. You know how to do that part. Thank you, thank you sir. Hey. He's a little tuckered. Jesse Gordon, you were throwing it in there, man. Yeah, I mean, uh, the track was 
like there was tacky parts and then there was some slick parts. So it was, you know, going in the corners, you could throw it in hard, but then coming off, there's just was nothing unless you had the right line coming off the corner. So I was battling that and uh, I, my fuel pressure gauge all day has kind of been, I thought it was the gauge, but a couple of times it was sputtering on me. So I, I think I might have some fuel issues going on, but all in all, I mean, uh, I hope you guys had fun. I had fun driving in there and, uh, you know, hats off to Earl and everybody that comes out and you guys for sticking it out in this heat. Um, Don, you know, always a great place to race and as, as we gotta, we gotta fight, you know, to uh, keep this place alive. So, uh, you know, everybody needs to stick together and uh, try and save this place. So we're going to give it our best shot, man. Definitely. I mean, I've, I've been racing here. I've been racing for 15 years or so. So, I mean, I, this was one of the first tracks I raced at and I've been racing here all ever since. So, uh, you know, it's half my life spent here and this is where I proposed to my wife. I, uh, I, I know I, w I was there. Yeah. And, and uh, you know, it has a lot of uh, special place in my heart. So, you know, I'll take second place. Uh, Earl's always a tough competitor. It's always fun battling with him and story too and everybody. So, well, congratulations, man. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right. Have your picture taken. And now I'm going to go down here and talk to Mr. Story and family. I'm telling you, every time they bring the young lad out, he's grown like a foot and a half. That was a little tougher than normal. Yeah, the track was a little wet in some spots, so it made it real slippery. But other than that, I mean, everything went okay. So, car's still in one piece and some good racing out there. I always tell everybody a date when you can drive the car back up on the trailer, it's been a good night. Oh, yeah, definitely. Whenever you can take that car home in one piece, that's something positive. Yep. How's the little man doing? Good. He's past his bedtime yet again, but he's having fun yeah he's having fun you guys put on a good show for the fans in this heat we appreciate you coming out oh i appreciate all you fans coming out and dealing with all the heat just to come watch us race and allow us to do this so thank you all for coming out there and bearing it and all your sponsors are still with you oh yeah definitely all my sponsors tom's toolbox telling story photography ugly kid and then of course my crew my wife and my little crew chief doing a good job man congratulations thank you have pictures taken thank you very much there you go